welcome to Nightbird Tarot. My name is Brooke, and welcome to February 2015's Tarot Forecast. This reading is for Aries, and Aries, I hope you had a great month in January. These are general readings for the general public. If you'd like a more in-depth reading with me, you can check out the link below. You're always welcome to email me at nightbirdtarot at gmail.com. I do have a variety of different formats that I use for tarot reading. I do them in email, audio format, or on live on Skype. You can have a live session with me. The prices range from $15 readings all the way up to $95. Those are the big gun readings. So, Aries, let's get started. I already pre-shuffled your cars right before the video. And for February, astrologically, things are happening. Mercury goes retrograde January 21st. It goes direct February 11th, right before Valentine's Day. So that's good in areas of communication. So you may be feeling this in the beginning of February. Mer Mercury retrograde may cause communication with other people, family members, siblings. So just keep that in mind. However, Aries, you kickstart off the month in a very positive manner. You have the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands is a card of victory and success. And this is heralding an event of some kind. You're going to be feeling pretty good in the month of February. You're going to overcome something. You might be achieving success in some area of your life. Wands are represented by the fire signs, okay? So Aries, of course, is a fire sign. But this is also a card of achievement in terms of energy, create, creative energy. Anything that you put a lot of passion into, Aries, in February especially, you're going to have great success in some area of your life. So that's your atmospheric element or the attributes for the month of February which is very positive for Aries. So this is a great card to start off your month with. Following this, you have three major arcana cards in your spread. I do a five card spread for the month. And there are good times noted for Aries this month, whether it's in friendships or relationships. This is also heralding a period of success as well. Something's being generated for Aries on some sort of level, especially when it comes to relationships. So there's good times noted, there's success, there's friendships. You have the Sun card. And the Sun card is very representative of almost as if the universe is shining down on you this month and is opening up and giving you much joy. There's good times, friendships are very positive for the month of February, relationships are going great, and it's affecting other people, people around you, in your environment as well. So there's some sort of success to be celebrated for Aries for the month of February and this is a very beautiful card. Whenever you see the Sun card in a tarot re reading period, it's a great card. It's like one of the most positive cards in the deck. And it's a major arcana card. But this card is a very beautiful, positive, happy, enlightening, uh, special, almost as if it's a breakthrough of some kind for you in the month of February Aries so that's very positive now you do have a court card in your spread this month and ironically enough it's the king of wands and wands are represented by fire of course Aries is a fire sign Leo or Sagittarius this could be applicable to Aries men that are watching the king of wands is a leader this is a leadership type of man He's also very passionate. He's very generous. If in relationships, he's very loyal. He's a very loyal friend. He's a very loyal husband. And he's also very monogamous in relationships as well. 
this is a person that may be involved in your life for Aries. This could be Aries men. This could be your husband, boyfriend, brother, friend, best friend. So this person may have a part in your life for the month of February, Aries, and may play a prominent role in how things develop for you. So he has shown up in all of his red-robed splendor for the month of February. So the King of Wands, so just keep that in mind for Aries. Now, there may be something that's still kind of in the shadows, so to speak, or it's not re revealing itself for many Aries that are watching. You do have the Major Arcana card, and it's the Moon card. And the Moon card is speaking about the shadowy side of events, relationships, people. Something has not been yet revealed. Something has not come to the light Something has not come out of the shadows, so to speak. Now, with all the other positive cards, this is probably, well, it is the most, not negative card, but it's the most shadowy card in your reading. So this is speaking to me, Aries, for you for the month of February, that perhaps there may be something behind the scenes going on. There may also be something that you may be hiding from other people. There may be something that has not yet revealed itself, okay? And it may be in forms of relationships, so just keep that in mind. That's not necessarily a negative, but the moon card has appeared, and sometimes it can mean deception. But from the other cards in your spread, Aries, I really don't feel that there's dis actual deception lurking. I kind of get the sense as if, something has not yet revealed itself to you and it may not possibly do so in the month of February there might be something or an area of your life that you're not too sure about or you're wondering or you may have suspicions or you may have an inkling or you may have a feeling about that has not revealed itself so that just keep that in mind for the month of going into February now, summing up your spread for the month, Aries, is a very beautiful card, and it's temperance. And temperance is a very beautiful card in terms of harmony and blending and things in moderation. It can be applicable to people who are in the healing field, the healing arts. It can be even representative of um, diverse relationships or relationships with different religions or relationships with different ethnic backgrounds. It's kind of a card of blending all these things together and living in harmony. And it can also be representative as uh, people who are teachers or healers or even civil rights leaders. So it's a real card about balance, harmony, and working together on something. So I get the sense for Aries for the month of February, there's a cohesive effort that may be going on with other people, especially noted by the Sun card. And it's one of victory and success. So if you're involved in some sort of movement or if you're involved in some sort of peaceful protest even for the month of February. That's just kind of the sense that I'm getting, like many Aries are going to possibly be involved in or a part of or very passionate with a certain event, a certain movement, a progress, a progression of some kind, which is fascinating while I'm doing your reading because of the protesting the marches that have been happening around the world in Paris and Ferguson and the United States and New York there's just so much going on in terms of civil rights human rights peace cohesiveness group efforts getting along and I really get the sense for many Aries out there that you're going to be a part of that you're going to be a part of something and it's going to be very achievable and it's going to be very successful as well 
So Aries, have a great month in February. Happy Valentine's Day. And I'll be back sometime in the beginning of February to do your full moon love forecast. So for the month of February, it'll be very special. So Aries, I hope you enjoyed your reading today. And just remember that these are generalized tarot readings for the general public view. If you would like something more in depth, I do offer private readings one-on-one. -on -one. They're very confidential. You can check out my website at the link below. I look forward to hearing from you, Aries. So have a great month. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.